Good morning. Here is the Sanibel Island and Southwest Florida update as of June 28th, 2023. It's very sad news in Florida. Over the last two weeks, at least 11 people have drowned in the Gulf Coast due to rip currents. Seven of the drownings were at Panama City Beach, with three of them happening on Saturday, June 26th. For Panama City Beach, they do have a flag system warning beachgoers about the water conditions. Five of the drownings have occurred under double red flag conditions, and one occurred during single red flag conditions. The flag system is two red flags means water is closed to the public, one red flag means high hazard, a yellow flag means medium hazard, a green flag means low hazard, and purple means dangerous marine life. A local noted that the dangerous marine life is usually just jellyfish. Not all beaches in Florida use the flag system, but Panama City Beach does, but unfortunately a lot of beachgoers ignore the flags. Panama City Beach issued a press release about the drownings Tuesday. Any and every loss of life is a tragedy. The city considers these drownings heart-wrenching, unnecessary, and preventable. Our brave first responders, including members of the Beach Safety Division, Beach Fire Rescue, Panama City Beach Police Department and code enforcement have worked nonstop over this period, risking their own lives as they protected the public across nine miles of city beaches. Stats from the memo that I found interesting were that during the stretch of dangerous conditions, when the local deaths occurred, almost 100 people were cited for swimming double red flag. Beach safety crews also rescued more than 140 people, as well as took about 116 preventative actions. This is when lifeguards preemptively help prevent someone from putting themselves in a position where they might need rescuing." End quote. Another drowning was at Destin Beach on Tuesday the 27th. The victim was a retired NFL player. According to US Today, about 60 people have died from drowning in the US this year. I don't have statistics for Florida, just the overall United States. Rip currents are channelized currents of water that flow away from the shore at surf beaches. They typically form at breaks and sandbars and also near structures such as jetties and piers. The National Weather Service warns they can be dangerous as fast moving water can even pull out the strongest swimmers away from the shore. Bay County Sheriff Tommy Ford said, these same heroes who have risked it all to save others have been cursed and given the finger while trying to warn visitors of the life-threatening dangers. We have used the tools provided by the county commission to fine violators $500 for entering the water on double red flags. We don't have the resources of, or time to cite every single person that enters the water, but we do our absolute best to use it as a deterrent to keep them from entering the water. Government and law enforcement can only do so much in these situations. Personal responsibility is the only way to ensure that no one else dies. Please make the effort to know the beach flag status and stay completely out of the water during double red flags." End quote. In relation to Sanibel, I realize that the Florida Panhandle is quite a distance away, but I just wanted to mention the current issue because drownings can happen anywhere. Sanibel Island does not use the flag system, but they will post signs at the entrances of their public beaches if there are known rip currents or other dangerous conditions. Thanks for listening.